Look what I have done in this lifetime with this body. I'm a girl from a cotton field that pulled myself above what was not taught to me. The fantastic Ike and Tina Turner review! Tina has a new documentary about Tina Turner. It tells her story in two parts, childhood neglect, spousal abuse, and private suffering. The second part is a joyous celebration of liberation, success, and adoration from millions of fans. Dan Lindsay and TJ Martin are the directors of Tina, and they join us live. Good morning. Thank Good morning. you both for being here. Good morning. Thank you for having us. It's just so nice to see this being done because I think everyone loves Tina Turner and she's really been out of the public eye for quite some time. How did she agree to participate in this? Well, uh, our producers, Simon Chin and Jonathan Chin, had uh, developed a relationship with Tina and her and her husband, Erwin, uh, via the, the musical that has was premiering in London based on her life. and. Uh, I think in some conversations with her, they they convinced her that it would be uh, a good idea to do this, and then they approached us to uh, direct it. Um, and so, uh, yeah, we kind of partnered with Tina to, to make the film. So, TJ, I think most of us see Tina Turner as this really strong woman. Does she ever look back at the old days and say, I should have handled things differently, or I'm surprised I acted this way in, in regards to, to Ike? Yeah, I mean, that's a good question. I don't know if she looks back and thinks whether she should have handled things differently, but the thing that really stood out to us in talking about her life in those early conversations is the pain that she still holds from the mm. past. And that's just something we couldn't shake, and it actually it, it gave us the direction of, of the film, which is, you know, there's been many iterations of the, uh, told of Tina's life, the uh, book, a musical, actually two books, uh, uh, What's Love Got to Do With It, the, 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 the film that Angela Bassett started. Mm -hmm. Um, but the one thing we felt that was never really um, explored was what is Tina's uh, perception on her own life, the narrative of Tina Turner that's become cemented in, in, our, in the public eye. And so that's really the thing that we tried to explore is, is, is kind of two characters uh, uh, wrestling with each other, which is the story of Tina Turner and Tina Turner herself. Was she just thrilled that once she you know, split from Ike, and in the 80s, she had this whole resurgence as a, as a solo artist. We all knew she was so talented, but as a person who was part of that group, that had to be really liberating for her. I think it was extremely liberating, but I think one thing we discovered in, in making this film, or it was news to us at least, you know, I, and I think for a lot of people, assumed she left Ike and then went on to a solo career, but there was actually a seven-year period um, from leaving Ike until... Uh, What's Love Got to Do With It came out and kind of broke her wide open. Uh, and that seven year period, Tina was playing in Vegas and doing the cabaret circuit at hotels. And, you know, some people might look at that and say she was kind of, you know, her career was down uh, down low, so to speak. But for her, um, like to your point, she felt she felt liberated and free. And it was the first time she was able to kind of begin to carve out this identity of a, of a new career that, you know, would eventually become the Tina Turner that we all know and love. Hmm. So, TJ, how does she fulfill that creative outlet now that she, I imagine she's not doing much recording or performing on stage, is she? Uh, she's not, and that's kind of part of what you explore in the film is, you know, when Tina retired from stage, uh, she didn't look back. She was very much, you know, I think a lot of us would agree that she earned it after 60 years of, of giving her all on, on stage. Um, but the thing that that is really what the film is exploring is, um, you know, Tina's tie to her story and 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 trying and, and for her to try to actually accept this narrative of of of, of trauma and pain that she's endured and and then she's you know that she's still processing. It's not necessarily she's overcome it. She's become mm. this simple strength and resilience, but she's still processing it. So. When she left the stage, she never looked back, and now she's trying to hang up the persona of Tina Turner. And honestly, um, I think she's really enjoying retirement in her uh, beautiful mansion on the lake in Zurich. Isn't there something so refreshing in this day and age when everyone feels like I have to be in, I, 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 ha I thrive, I have to be in front of the camera all the time, that she's like, I've, I've had it, I'm walking away. It's just, and she's at the top of her game. I just, it's very refreshing, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that that idea is actually infused throughout all of Tina's career, and and in our 
time getting to know her, one thing that really stands out is she is not she does not have an ego. She is she's a very humble person and she's somebody who doesn't I don't think she thrives off of the adoration of people. She was a performer and she loved to perform and when she was uh you know done performing she was able to walk away from it and i we don't get the impression that she she's uh missing the stage in any way well i some of that footage we're seeing looks so great and uh, i can't wait to see it tina is now streaming on hbo and hbo max you can follow both these guys on twitter and instagram at the handles that you see on your screen thank you both for being with us thanks guys thank you well today